Hey, thank you so much. This is so helpful. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, my thing is I'm, uh, I'm pretty blunt. Um, and in my brick and mortar business, that's been great because I'm a financial coach. People get into problems and it's easy to herd them and go, oh, that grass looks green over there, but we're going down this path because we got to get you out of this mess. Um, and, and I can feel empathy. I work with them. I was a teacher for 20 years. My students used to call me Sergeant Suck It Up. So that might give you kind of a clue about my personality. Um, but, but I had good relationships with those students. Um, and what I'm finding is on, you know, I'm not face to face with people. So I can see when my personality is coming a little on too strong face to face, but I need some clues <laughs> when you're on the phone because I can't see them. Um, so what are some things that I could be looking out for or some clues that would tell me, like you said, that I, that I do need to soften um, so that I'm not um, hurting them or being too bossy or that kind of thing? Their responses to you, um, you, you, you know, each, each thing that somebody says is, is related to what they're going through. So, that, so when they're on the phone with you, uh, everything they're saying is important, especially if you're in a position, even for a moment, of, of teacher. So I don't care if we're talking about marriage counseling or we're talking about business. 80% of people's words out of their mouth is complaint. Okay, I don't know where that number came from, but it's in several studies. 80% of what we talk about is complaining. I mean, when I get together with my closest friends, I think I complain, actually. I think I talk about what's hurting and what's bothering me and what I'd like to improve upon. You know, so I'm actually trying to shift that, you know, and be a little more positive and talking about what I want in life. So people are telling you all the time what they're hurting about, okay? So your, your mind, if it's focused on what you want to sell them or what points you need to get across to them, they may have very little brain power to receive any of that information. Hold on, let me just pause right here because this is really fucking good. Okay. This is a big thing that I did not get. When people are in survival mode, I mean, with finances, people get into survival mode all the time. A lot of fear. With relationships, even if they have a business and they're, not, they're arguing in a relationship, they're in survival mode. Your brain literally does not have any space, does not have any capacity yeah. to solve problems, to creatively solve problems. That was a huge thing for Alex and I to get when we were not arguing with each other. Man, did we get shit done. It was like incredible the amount of productivity that we, that we accomplished. We blew ourselves away. Yeah. That was huge. So when people are in survival mode or in, they're in that fear space, they literally don't have any capacity. Their brain, there's, there's no space in the brain. It's like the disc is full. Yeah. And I'm quiet now. That was, yeah. that was a big thing for me. Are they listening? There, there's a certain set of things that happen to where if there's a moment of silence on that phone, they're waiting for what you're going to say next. And you have the floor. And, and, and that's, that's your learning to learn how to listen so well to their 80% complaining that they want to tell you more. I don't care what you're selling. The personal relationship with you is all that matters. That's going to make them come to you for more or not. So would it be like if somebody's, if, if like somebody is, had, doesn't have the, is not listening, that means they're, they literally don't have the capacity in their brain to get what she's saying. So would it then be like more empath, empathizing that must, you must be, you must feel really scared right now. I don't know if any of you have read the book Blink. Malcolm Gladwell, you got like, you got like five seconds to impress somebody or not. And, and, and they determine if you're safe or not, even if they have no consciousness about this, their nervous system determines in five seconds, if the next thing you say 
makes them open up or not. Okay. So when they're shut down to you already, you have a very difficult task and going in directly with, you know, you know, you know, what's happening. You must be really scared. That also will further shut them down. Right. So you have to really, you know, I think of it in terms of like leaning back in your chair instead of leaning forward, you know, and your next thing to say to, uh, to them is something like, um, um, what are you experiencing right now? We started talking about this course I have, and now you opened up a little bit, you know, about your, your, your stepson who had this surgery. So let's take a moment here and just sit with that. That's a really serious thing. Is that affecting you? Is that really affecting your life in a big way? You got them back if you do that because you're actually in their world of what they're going through and what they're thinking about and what they care about. And they'll buy your program on how to be better at physics and math because you care about their stepson. It's literally how the brain connects. If I know you care about me, I'll do anything for you. I'll even buy your course so you'll be happy with me. Because I want you to value me also, right? I want to impress you. It's pretty crazy what our subconscious does when it makes a choice to buy a course. Knowing that we care. Knowing that we care. Knowing that we care. That's uh, a big sticky note. And it's pretty hard to fake that. So, you know, you really need to find the truth if what you're talking to them about is something you're passionate about. Now, now you, you probably are. You're in this course, you're selling a product, but shift yourself to become more passionate about caring about people, no matter what you're selling. I gotta tell you something, the months where we had our record breaker month, it's because I cared more about my team than about the, my profits. Yeah. 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 Yep. That was also the most vulnerable time of my life. So that was really interesting. Is this helpful? Yeah. <laughs>